Hey, how are you? And welcome for the video. In this video, I'm going to uh, do another little wine review. <clears throat> and this one is for Spring Vale from uh, the uh, Freshenay Coast, Tasmania. Is it Freshenay or Freshenay? Not quite sure. I'm pretty sure I've been there though. Is I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure I've been there. If, if it's a place I'm thinking of, it's fucking beautiful. If it's not a place I'm thinking of, I'm sure it's pretty fucking beautiful as well, because Tasmania is an extraordinarily beautiful island. So, um, it's a Pinot Gris, Pinot Gris 2021. And uh, let's just take a, a second to admire this, this label right here. Take that. On this label we have, well, the, uh, the island of Tasmania there. Uh, it's a natural spawn type shape. Fucking dog. And we have some... <coughs> Shut up, you cockhead! Can't really make out anything too specific. It's very pretty though. I mean, check, check it out. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that shit. Anyway, uh, I shall uh, read you some information on the back. Established in 1842, Springvale has been home to the Lynn family since... 18, since the 1870s, Lynn or Lyne family, L-Y-N-E. Looks like Lynn to me, but it could be Lyne. For many years, a sheep and cattle concern. The property diversified in 1986 and has since earned a reputation for wines of outstanding style and structure. Yeah, so for the, uh, you know close to 100 years, it was uh, sheep and cattle. I don't know why I said it like that. Sheep and cattle. Sheep and cattle. So yeah, it was a farm. Uh, so yeah, upstairs style structure. Floral and pear aromatics supply a poem? Pom? What? P-O-M-E. Poem? Pom? Are they having a fucking pop or what? Fucking some of that some of that anglophobia. A pom, a poem. I'll say pom. A pom fruit core. Nuanced with bright citrus. Springvale Pinot Gris is subtle, enriching, Moorish. Oh, no. Subtle, enticing, and Moorish, not enriching. Enticing and Moorish. So alcohol volume is 13%. Uh, okay, so let's crack it open. Okay, so here we go. There's the colour. Yeah, that's a nice, with the, you know, with the sun going through, it's a nice... Uh, Bright but light yellow thing. So, uh, mm, it's very fruit. I can see, yeah, I can see what it's uh, saying about the pear elements. Definitely smell pears in there. I smell pears, I smell sheep dung, farmer's shit, pork farts, prunes, marijuana. None of those things, but the pear, yeah. Anyway, let's have a, have a, have a, have a cheeky sniff there. Yeah, very, very light. Um, <clears throat> you don't really, and you, you get, you get the pear, peariness. A bit um at the back end when you as you're swallowing it and also a little bit of a like it said a little bit of citrus acidity there but yeah that's uh it's very inoffensive could we be a bit colder maybe i should have left it in the fridge longer i got it out of the fridge at the bottle shop so what the fuck yeah <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, it's very light. Very, very light. I mean, you know, it's <clears throat> there's not a great deal of flavour to it, but it has got that uh, almost an afterthought, an afterthought, <laughs> um, an afterthought of pear there and uh, citrus. 
stuff. Um, but yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice tipple. It's a nice light Pinot Gris, you know. Nice, nice glass of that on a summer afternoon. Uh, yeah, just chilling out. Yeah, that's perfect kind of wine for that. Food wise, you could have it with. I don't know what you have white food. Well, you have it with white wine. You have it with like fish and chicken and shit like that. I'm not a connoisseur. They should may have worked out. Um, but yeah, I believe it's uh, red wine. You have it with like your darker meats, uh, white and white wine. You have it with your white meats and your fishes and stuff. But depends on your preference, you know. So yeah, that was a uh, kind of a review. It was it's more some. Uh, layman thoughts on the uh, this spring veil pinot gris yeah, i shall have a little bit more out of that so uh thank you for watching and until uh, next time chin chin